Hi there Jeep owners, today in your 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Eek Trailer's 2 inch trailer hitch receiver. You will be able to see the cross tube, it is tucked up pretty nicely but even if you're standing up you will still notice it a little bit. The receiver here at the back is very noticeable but again it looks pretty good on it, the matte finish really blends in nicely with the way our bumper is up there and the other trim on it. It's a class three, two inch by two inch receiver. So it's gonna be great for all of your towing needs, whether you're gonna be using it for accessories such as a bike rack, you could easily put a four bike platform rack on here, fully loaded up, or a cargo carrier loaded up to the max. You could also pull a small camper or something with it as well. It uses a five eighths inch hitch pin and clip. One's not included, but we have plenty available here at eTrailer.com. On bottom, we have plate style safety chain loops but they do have a very small opening. So some of your smaller duty chains will have no problem, but larger ones like this, they do fit, but you may have some difficulties with some of the very big ones. This hitch has a 600 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver. And like we said before, you could easily put four bikes loaded up on a platform rack or a cargo carrier to the max with that. And it offers a 6,000 pound gross towing capacity. So pulling a trailer or a boat with this should be no problem as well. It is rated for use with a weight distribution system, and when using one, your tongue weight is gonna to increase to 750 pounds, and your gross towing capacity is gonna to increase to 7,500 pounds. Weight distribution systems will help take the weight that's sagging down the back of your vehicle and redistribute it to the front axle so you're riding level, restoring lost braking and handling performance. We've got a lot of different styles here at eTrailer.com, so you can check those out and pick the best one that matches your setup. Now, as always, I recommend that you verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about four inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top and center edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 15 inches. This is important when determining if you need a drop, a rise, or a raised shank on any of your accessories. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go over the installation together. It's gonna to be over before you know it, so let's go ahead and get her done. This is one of the easiest hitches out there. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by removing some factory hardware to reveal some weld nuts that we're gonna be raising our hitch up to install into. We're here on the driver's side of the frame and we need to remove the two inside bolts that we see here. We're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket to remove those. We'll then remove the bolts in the same location on the other side of the vehicle. Now that we got the bolts out of the way, we have some sealant that runs here, and this may or may not interfere with you raising your hitch up, but looking at how thick it is right here, this is likely gonna interfere with us. So we're just gonna take a razor knife, a scraper, or something like that, and we're just gonna trim this off right up in here, so that way our hitch can easily be raised up and we're not fighting it. And we're just just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. Just, And then we're gonna check the other side of the vehicle and then do the same thing over there. And now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch into position, lining up the holes in the hitch with the weld nuts in the frame of the vehicle. And then we can just reinstall the factory bolts that we had removed. And then we can just reinstall the factory bolts that we had removed. We can then go back and tighten them down with a 21 millimeter socket. Then we can go back and torque our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. With all of our hardware torqued down, we're ready to load up our favorite accessories and hit the road. And that completes our installation of eTrailer's 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee.